Hello, my name is Stephanie. I'm the founder of Faust Gallery. This is Win Lin, the artist. Win is essentially a painter. She usually works with acrylic paints on canvas. So these two bodies of works are really groundbreaking in her practice. I wanted to extend my perceptual uh, as well as aesthetic concerns uh, beyond the canvas, not just think that it has to start and end at the edge of my canvas, but can it go beyond that? The first mark is always very free because I try to not be burdened by any thoughts at all. So it's literally just following where the hand or the body might move. It takes its own set of rhythm as I respond to the earlier layers or the earlier marks. Sometimes it's purely water that carves out the light. So, if, if you might have noticed in my mark making, sometimes it's just waiting for the moment of it to be half dry, half wet, and I'm not using any colour but simply a, a water a loaded brush to carve it out again. So, the tonalities that result can simply be just from water. First, that my first mark usually is the Holy Trinity black raw umber or sienna and yellow ochre and that forms a skeleton. All the tonalities that started is really from that tree and water and then from there it just kind of organically informs the next, could be colour or the next mark. How can we experience colour instead of just seeing colour? How can we experience space instead of just seeing spatial composition in a painting? How can we see the essence of light in a painting? How can we feel it? How can we walk around it? So that has extended from a two-dimensional plane for me as a painter to break out into a more object uh, form of expression. But still, I am thinking and working as a painter. After having gone on the Arctic Circle residency, I just wanted to go further north. So I came here for two years to do my master's. But most of my time during that master's practice was not spent in the studio. It was spent scavenging outdoors. This seaweed was collected from the beaches of Tromsø. They were installed for an exhibition in Norway where I hung hundreds of these dried seaweed in an installation to catch the light. So this natural donations form just by pouring light through the object. I think got my interest in how light can also be a collaborator or part of my medium in painting. The title, A Matter of Time, it references not just the inevitability of time, but the word matter also talks about the material. Lexi glass is this seemingly immaterial material. It's so transparent. When you hold it up against the light, it disappears. It becomes a material that takes shape when I apply colour on it. But yet, when I turn it at an angle towards the light, this form disappears. So, a painting becomes both form and void. The sense of the void is no longer just on the surface and it's also no longer static. 
As you move around the work, the compositional space changes. Front and back becomes interchangeable. So they may appear like objects, but I still refer to them as paintings. In that thread of investigation, I'm also still thinking, what else can painting be? 